How can you create the life that you dream of? How can you succeed when you see others succeed and, and you're feeling stuck and you don't know where to begin and you don't know what to do? The difference between those who are successful and those who are not is one thing. And that is belief in yourself, trust in yourself. How can you do that? What does this look like? I'm going to share with you seven key steps, tips, key elements, whatever you want to call it, but seven things that you can implement today to start growing that belief and that trust within yourself. No matter what you're dreaming about, no matter what you want to achieve, no matter what success means to you, because it has a different definition for everyone, I want you to feel successful, to feel fulfilled, to feel you're doing something meaningful with your life. And it all starts with believing in yourself. I know what I'm talking about. If you don't know me, by the way, my name is Rachel Smets and I help ambitious professionals to create an escape plan so they can transition from corporate job and the daily rut into growing your online business and be an online freedom entrepreneur because that's what I'm doing. I'm traveling the world. I'm, I'm actually looking at the ocean on the other side. I'll show you a picture um, right away. And I'm doing what I love because I used to be stuck in a corporate job that I really hated and I created this escape plan and I know exactly the steps what to take to transition to then combine both the job and the online business and then at the end say goodbye my boss. I want to be my own boss. I want to do what I want. I don't want to ask permission anymore. I want to live my own life and do what I want and what I love. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now and how I'm helping people to do the same thing and achieve results all the time. So going back to where I used to be and, and where my clients started and where you might be right now is you're feeling, you know, you're not feeling fulfilled. You're in a situation or in a job where you don't want to be in, but you're thinking, oh, you know, all those people out there are so successful and they're doing what they love, but I'm not good enough and I can't do that. And here's where you're wrong because you are good enough and you can do that. But when I'm thinking back about all the steps that I took and what really helped me is, is what I'm going to share these seven tips about. By the way, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's that red button right below and hit the like and hit the notification bell because that's how YouTube knows, Hey, you know, this is interesting. And you know, that's how the YouTube algorithms work. So you would really do me a favor by hitting the like button and the subscribe button. But I'm thinking back about the things that helped me to trust myself and believe in myself more because that was really one of the key ingredients to, to, to growing my business and to taking steps towards the life that I really wanted. Because while I was unhappy, the more I was thinking about uh, how unhappy I was, the more I stayed stuck. The more, I, the more I stayed with those people and the closed family who wanted to keep me safe. By the way, if you haven't watched that video about the crap story, you have to watch it because it makes so much sense how the crap family pulls you back all the time because they want to keep you safe. And that's exactly what happened to me too. It's like, oh, are you crazy? You don't want to quit your corporate job. Don't do that. It's nice. It's safe. You have financial security now. Don't do it. But I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy and I was afraid to quit because I didn't believe in myself. I thought I'm not good enough to be like those people who are living their laptop lifestyle. I'm not good enough to do that. You know, they can't and I, and, you know, they can and I can't. Not believing in myself kept me stuck. So the moment I changed that and that's why these seven tips are for, that's when things started shifting. The tip number one, is start surrounding yourself with the right kind of people. And what do I mean by that? Like I said, the more I was surrounded by my family, my close friends, they kept me, they didn't mean well, but they always pulled me back into not changing and not quitting and not changing anything and just doing whatever I was doing, but it made me feel miserable. But the moment I started reaching out to those people who are actually living the life that I wanted to live, that's when 
I saw opportunities, I saw possibilities, I was, you know, taking slow steps into the direction that I wanted to. You see the difference? The people who just, you know, keep you stuck and safe, they mean well, or the people who, who are doing what you want to do and they can tell you what to do and they motivate you and they inspire you and they've been where you are so they can say well now you do this and then you do that that's that's also how i help my clients who are now still stuck in a job i can help them because i've been there but i'm also knowing i'm, I'm now in a life that i love so i know the steps to take so so those people that inspire you they can show you so start surrounding yourself with those people that are doing what you love, that are ahead of you, that motivate you, that inspire you and start spending less time with, with those close ones that keep you safe and that want to keep you stuck. And that means saying no as well. But remember, saying no to some people means saying yes to yourself. I had to start, learn to say, no, no, I'm not coming to your birthday or no, I'm not going to a coffee and no, I'm not going to that party because it didn't bring me anything fulfilling. I wanted to be surrounded with people, you know, online and network and figure out how, you know, in the beginning I wanted to write a book, I, I did a TEDx talk, I wanted to grow my YouTube, I wanted to grow my business. So I was surrounding myself with all those entrepreneurs because that's what I wanted to become. The second thing is list your strengths because what you want is you don't want to start all over again. You have built a lifetime of experiences and skills. That's why you're in your job. That's why you're good at what you're doing right now. So you have a list of skills and talents that you can use into your online business. So I want you to really focus on and really make a list of, okay, these are my strengths, these are my skills, these are things that people ask me. Maybe you're good in organizing, you're good in typing, you're good in communication, you're good in languages, you know, list all those things that you can think about that you're good at. And not just that, it's really, really good to see a list of your strengths because it will really make you, you know, feel better about yourself. You know, instead of thinking, oh, I'm not good enough, the more you make a list of your strengths, the more you're like, yeah, I can actually do a lot of good things. You know, I have all these strengths, right? Number three is compliment yourself more. Don't always wait for others to compliment you or for others to reward you or for others to say, hey, you've done well. Look in the mirror and compliment yourself. Like, yeah. I'm good enough. You know, in the very beginning, this was really hard for me because I didn't really believe. I'm like, why would I look in the mirror and tell myself, I'm okay, I'm good enough, tap myself on the shoulder. Why? I don't, you know, I didn't believe it. But I'm telling you, the more I did that, the more I started believing it and the more it, I just started to feel good. So from now on, if you haven't done that already, start looking at yourself in the mirror through the day or when sometimes you pass by a window and you see yourself it's like, hmm, I'm good enough. Even if you don't believe it in the beginning, just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, all right? So compliment yourself more. Number four, ask for a coach or a mentor. Ask for, um, you know, those who have walked the path before you to help you. Because the more you want to do it yourself and figure everything out yourself, you're going to be overwhelmed and have a mind, a, a chaotic mind and what you want is to move forward and what you want is to feel happy and to feel fulfilled. And if you hire a coach or a mentor, I know it's hard in the beginning because you're like, no, I want to figure everything out and, 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 and I, will, I will find out and I will, you know, take another course or buy another book or follow another program, but it's going to take you forever. And again, I've been there, but the moment that I hired a coach, oh my gosh, it was like, okay, somebody's actually helping me taking the right steps in the right order. And that's what I do with my clients now as well, but I still have a coach. Look at all the successful people out there. They all have a coach or a mentor. Why? Because it's so, so good. And it's just worth so much to have someone who has walked the path before you, who can tell you exactly, now you do this, don't do that. And now you do that, right? And you just follow along and they keep you accountable as well. Number five, and this is a really big one, don't let fear hold you back. 
there are all kinds of fears and I've made so many videos about the fear of failure, the fear of the unknown, the fear of finances, the fear, you know, but the fear is always going to be there. But the one thing I want you to remember is that fear is the way to move you forward. Fear is helping you grow. You cannot grow without fear. You can't, you just can't. Every time you do something new in your life, there is a fear. It's normal. It's part of your growth. So you have to face the fear. You have to shake hands with your fear. You have to make friends with your fears. Fear is a good thing. I, I'm so annoyed that people are like, oh, fear, stay away from fear. Oh, fear, it's negative. No, it's not. Fear is positive because without fear, you cannot grow. Fear is part of it. Take it on. Bring it on. You will pass you know, every time you overcome a small fear or something that's scary, you grow and you overcome it and you win it. And it's like a sense of victory. Like, yes, I did it and I can do more. Number, where am I? Number six, visualize the dream and the success that you want. Visualize it. I've made another video and more videos actually about visualization. It's the most powerful technique that athletes, professionals, successful people, every one of those, they visualize their success. Why? Because it works. So if you want to know how, then go and see that video and I'll put the links right below. But I want you to visualize your dream life vividly. See it, close your eyes and imagine it and see yourself successful and feeling fulfilled. And if you don't know any details yet, that's all right. Just feel that emotion of, yes, I'm happy. I'm doing what I love visualize it. Number seven, exercise. Exercise. Because the mind and the body are connected and not just a little bit, they're completely connected. So if you feel like, I don't believe in myself, I don't trust myself, but if you exercise your body, you know, those that adrenaline and serotonin and all of those nice feel-good hormones just get shaked up and boosted and you will feel better. And the more you feel better, you know, through exercises, the more you will feel better in your mind, the better you will feel about yourself and the more you will believe in yourself. So I hope that all of these seven steps there, there have to be, you know, several ones of them that you can start implementing today and take action because the more you believe in yourself and you trust in yourself, the more you will achieve the dream life and the success that you really want. So start believing in yourself, take action, take action with whatever one of these seven that you want to start with or talk to me, please. You can always talk to me. I'll put the link to book a call with me. If you want to escape your job, escape your corporate, that's what I do. I create a blueprint for you, with you. And you know, I, I'd love to talk to you and tell you more about that and help you forward. And even if it's just one step, let me help you. Talk to me. I can share anything that I've learned and that I do. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit that, you know, red button, that subscribe button and notification. It helps YouTube to, um, you know, boost those algorithms up. And remember, I make a new video every single Wednesday and Go out there, believe in yourself, trust in yourself. You're not alone in this. If others can do it, so can you. If I did it, so can you. I'll see you next week.